All right, yo, it's good, you guys. Uh, checking out episode eight, Demon Slayer, um, season three. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna go back into movie Chiro's art or a little fight, or if, if it's gonna continue going on with the uh, freaking Tanjiro's fight. I'm hoping it just deals with more of like Tanjiro's fight because I really want them to hold off uh, for movie Chiro with the finale, but I guess we'll see. Uh, so yeah. Because he finally broke out last episode right here. Damn. Those are in hella deep. Fuck. Also, he's like poisoned. Damn. Dude, holy sh- He had so many inside of him. So these are just these are just like small for right here, but he probably has to struggle because of like I'm assuming he's poisoned at at, at uh, this point. Unless Mid City comes out here and saves him, I don't know. Or if it's like some inner strength. Okay, yeah. So this is probably like a Muichiro based episode, just based off. Like the title, the Moon Mugichiro. It probably won't be the fight, more so just backstory though. But backstory should be cool because, like, we'll get to see more of what like he pretty much like forgot about. How that's possibly gonna tie in later on when like he regains. His memories at a point is what I'm assuming is going to happen. So there's a storm going on right now outside. I wonder if, what if like his father gets caught in the storm and like. That ends up like what if he passes away in the storm somehow? I don't know. Dude, he probably does die because, like, he probably slips and falls to his death. Man. Damn, the same day they passed away. So then what causes them to lose his memories, though? He had a twin? Oh shit. Yuichiro. It's, it's interesting because the darker clothes, uh, one's the twin, right? And uh, that's how it seemed like he acted whenever, like, like at first, like when we first saw him. And now he's acting more so like how he did like as a kid. And like, how the hell did, like, like what led Muichiro to eventually becoming a, like, swordsman? So that's, I think that's like one of the daughters, right? So she was, so like, she was obviously fetching water for the master at that point. So what if like, that led to them like meeting at a point. Yeah. Okay, there you go, Master's wife. Oh, to visit them. But why, though? Mm. 
He doesn't want to hear any of it. Damn. <laughs> His bird referred to uh, Muchiro as like a chosen one, I'm pretty sure, though. So I'm thinking right now, what if they end up getting attacked by a demon? And his brother ends up sacrificing his life to save Muichiro. And like it ends up them, or it, that ends up leading to him getting like messed up and uh, like lo losing his memory somehow. Oh my god. <laughs> His arm, holy fuck. Dude, the music sounds insane, too. How do they survive? Like, who saved them? I was saying, unless it was him, he just like spazzed out. Bro, like. Yeah, so he just like snapped. Completely bl wow. <laughs> Dude. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> His brother had to have bled out. Look, he begs him to kill him.
Oh, dude. Oh, my God. They're showing it. Yeah, I've been talking about that for so long already. Like, the mark. I, just, I was going to say, too, like, what if, like, like, what allows him to get the mark is pretty much, like, like, it was almost like he was merging those two personalities together, even though they weren't. It was just him and his brother, you know what I mean? But, like, like, in Mu Chiro's sense, it's like there were two different people merged into one person. So, like, him getting his, like, memories back would essentially be, like, them becoming one, if you, like, understand what I'm saying. And, like, becoming one would mean that, like, he unlocks the mark. And it looks to be, like, that's what it is. I don't know. But, yeah, like, you, you can see, like, now he has the mark. And, like, he's he's different. Like, he's mobile. Like, he's able to move and shit again. He isn't, like, helpless like he was before. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, so his mark is different than Tanjiro's. <laughs> yeah, like that's what I meant. He wasn't paralyzed anymore. Yeah, it's because of the mark, though. Absorb him. <laughs> mm. Dude, that's fucking cold. It it looks so sick. Like it's teal. It's it's teal just like his hair, bro. Don't end, okay. Bro, that's so sick. That, that looked really similar to the uh, intro shot, or the uh, trailer. I mean, like, the opening shot. Damn, bro, animation is so clean. He's really fast, though. <laughs> Bro, he looks so cold. Oh, he got how did he get him though? Wow. Oh dude, the confidence though. Infinite strength, dude. 
Dude, he looks so sick, bro. Oh my god. Man, bro. Damn, so like they already kicked off the movie Churro fight. But like it's just a glimpse of it, dude. But damn, bro, like so what I've been talking about for like for a long time now is probably like or is uh the marks on his face. I kept saying I wanted to reach this point. Like I didn't know how it happened or even like more so why besides the connection that he has to like Yurichi, right? But I don't understand like how he awakened the marks on his face though. But I know like that plays a big part in this fight right here with upper four. So I wanted to see it like really bad, dude. But damn. So I know people say like who read the manga. They said that this fight right here in the manga is what led to Muichiro being their favorite character. So uh, I don't even know like what to expect moving forward except for, for like some really crazy visuals, bro. Especially going off last season. How they saved it for episode 10. Bro, like we're going to be in for some shit for, for the next few episodes for sure. <laughs> like I more so with Emu uh, Muichiro, I'm assuming, than like Tanjiro and all them, but it could be a, a, a combination for all I know. But man, bro, this show's gonna look amazing. Like, even more so than, than it already has coming up pretty soon. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll see y'all for episode nine. I don't believe there's gonna be any delays or anything like that, but if there is, I guess I'll find out beforehand. Somehow, maybe. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, for now, I'll see y'all for episode nine. So yeah, peace. Great episode. Mucho's looking really good. And uh, yeah.